Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this problem, they tell us that we're going to do this dollar dropping challenge where we hold a dollar and then we have our friend try to catch it by the time that we release it. But they say that our reaction time of 0.25 seconds is not fast enough to catch the bill. So they say, how much time does it take the bill to fall beyond her grasp? And the length of the bill is 16 centimeters. So first off, let's write down the given variables. So they say that the length of the bill, so that delta y is equal to 16 centimeters, which is equal to 0 0.16 meters. So that is all of the given values that we'll be using in the equation. Now, it doesn't seem like that should be enough information, right? But we'll be using the kinematic equations, and it is. So what we're going to use is the formula where we have y final is equal to y initial plus the velocity initial times time plus one half times the acceleration times the time squared. So now let's go through and simplify this even further. The initial y is going to be zero. We're going to set the problem. So right here at the top where we drop it is zero and then it's falling in the negative y direction. So the y final will be negative and the y initial is zero. The initial velocity is also zero because we're dropping it. We're holding it first though, so that's gone. So now we have y final is equal to one half times the acceleration times the time squared. Now, since we're dealing in the y direction, the only acceleration that we have right here is actually gravity. And you can either put it in one of two ways. Some people will put negative one half times g times t squared or some people will put the negative for a negative y direction for gravity like this. Let's say one half times negative g times t squared. Whatever floats your boat, it's the exact same thing. So now for, for this, we need to solve for time. So to isolate the time, we're going to divide both sides of the equation, negative one half g or one half negative g. So now what we'll have is the time squared is equal to the delta y over one half of negative g. Now if you look at the equation, dividing by a fraction is the same thing as multiplying by the reciprocal. So I like to write it this way. t squared is equal to two times delta y divided by negative g. We need to isolate t by taking the square root of both sides. So now we have t is equal to the square root of two times delta y divided by negative g. So this question and this equation right here happens over and over and over. So this is something that is very likely to show up on a test, at least in part of a question, if not a question straight up like this. So definitely pay attention and practice on this one for your test. So now what we need to do is we need to plug in our numbers to solve for this. So we have t is equal to the square root of 2 times the delta y, which we said is negative 0.16 meters. And then we'll divide that by negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So now when we go to the calculator, we have, oops, we have square root of... 2 times negative 0.16 divided by negative 9.8 gives us 0.18. So we have 0 0.18 seconds is the total time that it takes to drop beyond her grasp. But they say she has a reaction time of a quarter of a second. So it's falling too fast, slips through her fingers when she reacts and squeezes her fingers to try and catch it. 